Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to share what I know about uh, companion passive skills here. Just going to talk about the ins and outs of them. Some stuff I don't, I'm not sure about. <clears throat> um, for intent to fire, accuracy, uh, that's a pretty good one. Uh, you probably want to keep an eye on, uh, it's a good place to increase accuracy. Maybe keep an eye on and see if you're missing a bunch. Or like you get to a boss hurdle in a stage. And you notice you're missing a bunch. Maybe you want to put some in there. It'll probably help out. Um, but yeah, it's a good place for accuracy. Uh, blessing of Forest, extra attack. That's really good for attack. Um, it's not as good as attack sum is the best one. But uh, and this one was cheap to max out. They all max out at 100 right now. So yeah, that was cheap to max out. I maxed it out. So Song of Elf, reduce enemies HP. Yeah, that's definitely a good one, um, but uh, maybe not as important as other ones. Uh, the, the souls, I don't really worry about the soul ones. I'm sure they're really good. Um, probably not as important as uh, other stuff on here. <clears throat> I guess the main reason is be is it gets really expensive to get soul weapons, and they honestly they don't seem to boost you too much. Especially when you get to higher levels, so higher stages. Uh, mana crystals, yeah. Um, I think that's for uh, the force of circulation, and that'll help you upgrade your spirits. So that's that's important. Um, and then wind damage. I'm not. I don't know. Um, it's definitely important, but I don't, I'm not sure how how high it is on the list. I'll say the most important one here, most important ones would probably be uh, extra attack and accuracy. <clears throat> uh, for Zeke, uh, HP increase. That's that's a that's a that's a all right one. Um, there's other places to increase HP. Probably it'd be better to do like upgrading accessories or uh, increasing uh, character uh, enhance and growth stats. Uh, critical damage, that's another one that will increase attack. I'm not sure how it's compared to uh, Blessing of Forests. It looks like it's more expensive. If you notice, the, some skills are way more expensive than others, and that's a huge indicator that they're better. Uh, blade Dance attacks some. If you're trying to increase your DPS with passive skills for with companions, it's the, the one that will increase DPS the most. So you'll get a good boost there. That's the most important. I would say it's really important. Uh, you'll, you'll unlock it early uh, by completing advancements. But I think the most important one here for Zeke is Ductile's Wisdom by far. Um, everyone's saying you want to max that out as soon as possible because there's just so much stuff to enhance with cubes and you're just never going to have enough. So, and then, and the cost, these costs, they kind of go up as you upgrade the level. Uh, if you notice on Ductile's Wisdom here, it's um, 1,250 emeralds and then 7,500 earthstones. That's just what it is every time I upgrade it now. So that's the max cost. And they all, I think they all do that once you get around like level 50 or something like that. They, all, they hit a max cost and that's just what it'll be every level going up, so... Um, yeah, I'm trying to max out Ductile's Wisdom, and I'm saving all my purple feathers for when I do get it maxed. And then I'll probably save them a little longer to really maximize in the uh, Dimensional Rift, getting enhanced cubes. Soul Catch? Um, yeah, you're, I would not... I wouldn't break down any soul weapon until you get this one up a decent amount, maybe. Uh, you'll get... Uh, <laughs> So you'll get more uh, white soul, but uh, I mean, if you're close to getting a spirit weapon, maybe you just break break down to get it. Um, I could see that, but yeah, I'd stop breaking weapons down, and I'm saving them for whatever the time comes. I start maxing this out, but um, there's so many good ones on here. There's I want to get up critical damage, attack some, and ductile's wisdom. So Zeke's got some good stuff going on here. And uh, after that, I'd probably go. I'd probably probably do. Uh, right now, I'm gonna do Ductile's Wisdom. Then I'm trying to max out max out attacks on. Then I'm gonna go critical damage, 
And then, uh, then I'll probably go for earth damage. Honestly, I'm not too worried about soul, soul catch right now because, man, my experience with soul weapons is it just really doesn't kick up the DPS that much. It's one of these game features they put in here where it doesn't really improve things much, especially if it comes out when you're at a high stage. High stages are just, they got, they're real hurdly sometimes, so you need a lot of DPS to get past them, especially the 10 and 20 marks. Uh, Miho, I don't know a bunch about damage resist. My guess is it's, it's you just dodge damage, you just avoid it. I'm not sure. I got it up there a bunch because it was cheap. I didn't really know what I was doing in, in the beginning. So I think I just increased it to get more fire damage, pretty much. Yeah, no, the next one is dodge. So damage resist must just reduce damage. <clears throat> The picture in the name makes it sound like you're just getting the heck out of the way, but I guess kind of that's kind of what you're doing. So, dodge, yeah, I don't really use it that much. I don't get hit back that much. So, yeah, when you first unlock these, definitely gold rush is probably going to be the most important here, for sure. And then, uh, and then eventually you unlock gold rush two, which is twice as effective. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's cheaper to level up, and it's you get two two percent increase per level instead of one percent uh, increase per level with Gold Rush. So Gold Rush is pretty good, but once you unlock Gold Rush two, I would just go straight to it and start upgrading that first over the other one. <clears throat> the first Gold Rush again, Souls. Um, I don't not really worried about Souls right now. And uh, Fire Damage. That's that's a good one. All of them from the Passive Two tab. The last one have uh, uh, its element damage increase, so that's obviously going to be pretty good. But uh, yeah, I would go uh, Gold Rush on this one until you unlock Gold Rush 2, and then I would focus on Gold Rush 2, and then I would probably go back and max out Gold Rush. So, and then I would probably do Fire Damage next. And uh, Luna, Mana Dope and Mana application, Amplification are, are a must. You want to keep an eye on your uh, mana when you're, when you're casting skills and see if it's running out. I think mana recovery is, after a while is going to be more important than extra mana. Because, I mean, you invest some extra mana, you're going up maybe 5, 10 uh, mana. And uh, that's just a kind of a base amount. So it's not really going to add much. But then mana recovery, once you put that up, I mean, you're getting like 5 to 10 every more every second, potentially. So and maybe 10 is too much. But uh, I heard some top players saying that you should max out mana dope. Or maybe they were saying mana amplification. I can't remember. But yeah, you basically want to keep an eye on on your mana. And uh, if you're running out, you come in here. This is the best place to increase mana and mana regeneration. So, uh, Wisdom of War, that's a good one. Skill damage. Uh, again, uh, Blue Soul, not really worried about it. Uh, Hymn of the Abyss. Total experience. By the time you unlock this, experience really isn't even... You don't even need experience because you're probably going to be past level 1,000 and have your... Um, 10th skill slot unlocked. So I just upgraded it because it was cheap in the beginning when you first unlock it. And the last one I don't have, I just need to I just need to finish one more advancement. I'll get it. I'm so close. But yeah, that just increases water damage. I'm not sure if there's a passive three tab. There could be. I've seen some stuff in um, skill mastery. Um See if we can find some of this stuff here. There's stuff in here that I don't know what it is. Here's one. That that's probably a skill. Um, here's one. I don't know what this is. Part true. Some kind of gremlin. Now, maybe there's not a passive three then. Oh, here's another one. 
It looks like um, that's uh, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it could be maybe spirit related stuff. I don't know. Yeah, maybe there's not a passive three tab. So, uh, yeah, these are the advancement tabs. I'm not sure what unlocks what, but uh, yeah, I'm right here. This this orca is tricky. I've almost got it beat. Uh, it's a lot easier than Mystic Phantom. Uh, Mystic Phantom took down a lot of HP, so I'd upgrade HP to get that guy. And then uh, Orca is just... I've just run out of time, basically. So... And, uh, yeah. I'll just throw this in. Yeah, for promotion, you'd want to go extra attack because... Extra attack does more damage than critical damage because it also increases critical damage. And you probably don't want... Maybe you can get some other stuff in here temporarily. And in the beginning, you know, maybe like some extra experience to help level you up fast, faster. You'll level up way faster with extra experience in the beginning. It really slows down around level 900, 950. Just when you think you're kicking butt and you're going to <laughs> get your level 1000 skill slot, 10 skill slot, it really slows down. So... I don't know, maybe monster gold, I don't know. I don't know, but I definitely think extra attack in the end, you're going to have all extra attack. Uh, CC resist, from what I understand, is broken. The coding in the game isn't even doesn't even function properly, so it doesn't do anything. People say, a lot. everyone's saying it does knockback. I have no idea where people got that information, but everybody's saying knockback. <laughs> so, I don't know, CC probably stand for like crowd control or, I don't know critical chance i don't know it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it'd be a stand for knockback so yeah the easiest way to roll these is just hold down the roll button pretty much the change button here and then when you get your blue um yeah appearance these are owned effects you don't have to equip them so when you complete when you complete advancements that's when you go into your promotion here, you get enough advancements. Um, you'll get times 1.5 on these and times two. That's how you get the multiplication on those things. You just complete more advancements pretty much. So. All right, I think that covers a bunch. Oh yeah, for the, 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 the emerald skill uh attribute stone paradigm you know if you're in a situation should i get stones or should i get emeralds for me i think it's more important to get stones i just load up as many stones for events i try to get as many stones as possible and i just worry about the emeralds on daily stuff and then doing exchanges um, in the shop here i always do feathers and dice but i have so many stones now i started i started doing this a little bit but I probably won't do too much of that. So, but yeah, people are saying that, uh, like for this event, emeralds are, uh, they're pretty expensive. I think it's kind of a bad buy. Uh, other people are saying the same thing. So, me, I just worried about, uh, I got the earth stones, get up my ductile wisdom as soon as possible. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, 2,000 for 5,000 stones, pretty good. And then I'm gonna uh, get my purple feathers, I guess, and uh, save those for when I max out ductile's wisdom. So, yep, that is about it. All right, thanks, guys.